Nestor Cortez is ready. And let's do it here in the Bronx. First pitch is fouled away. Leone is over at third. Fly ball right field, giving Chase Carpenter. He's there, and he makes the play for the first out. There's Bobby Wood Jr. Get a chance to see this good young talent. James, but here he is, just 22 years old. High fly ball, left side. Everyone gives it a look, but it makes the seats. I've heard so much about him. Fun to watch the future stars play for the first time. The Yankees have done that 17 times, which also leads the major leagues. And Witt goes down on strikes. And a strike. It strikes fewer low strikes. And he's in his 11th big league season. He's going to get a Christmas card from O'Neill. I'm sure Nestor didn't like the fewer inside strikes. We know he likes to pound the ball inside on right-handed hitters. Fly ball to a four-man outfield. And the catch is made by two runs to work with. Two-nothing Yankees as we start the second. And the pitch to Hunter Dozier is a little bit much four for his last 24. But this has been a bounce-back season for him. waves through that pitch leagues with 10 triples and hit 280 so they expect him to get back to that point and it's uh, you know you know you won there but it was just it was a pretty ballpark and you know, it was just a, a fun place to play yeah I guess really wasn't hitting the ball out of the ballpark because we have a big ballpark but I think he's going to do some damage at Yankee Stadium and it just made me think I always stood where I wanted to stand and you know just in one area if, it, if that card told me to move, I, I would have had a little issue. That's a base hit for Pasquantino. Dozier will stop at second. So first and second, nobody out. Six years with the Cardinals, one World Series, which they lost. But uh, he's been a successful manager. Always note when other teams come out of house to navigate these days. Taylor fouls. Way outside. Colorado, the Dodgers, Milwaukee, and the Mets have 10 double digit games. So the Yankees have done damage with their offense. And their 39th win against 12 losses in the Bronx. That's the best home record in the game. Fly ball, right field. Carpenter. Tagging is Dozier. The throw comes into second. Tap slowly back to Cortez. And he runs right at the runner, throw to third, and they will get Dozier for the second out. Well, Garcia picked up his first three big league hits last night. And then today you can look up at the scoreboard and you're hitting 333 just by throwing three three hits out there in the first. Two and one. That one clips the outside corner, two and two on. Get to the 2-2 two -two count. Swing and a foul ball. Fouled it twice. From the plate as he opens up from a closed stance. Strike three. Garcia down look. He does not know that he has ever seen anything like this. Certainly not from a teammate. He went on to say one of his only has had so far this season. As far as his manager, Aaron Boone, well, pretty cool moment when he sat down for his post. Exactly what you guys are going to ask me and who you're going to ask me about. There's a line drive to left field. The base hit in front of Ben and Tendi for Lopez. In my mind, it's 42. So I guess that makes today 43 if by his math. Speak last night. It's very hard for me, for Aaron Boone, for Flash to comprehend. Yeah, that's amazing. It really is. 3 0 count on Merrifield. There's a strike. Yankees lead 4 0. 3 and 2. Foul back. Happy birthday, Mrs. O'Neill. Foul away. 
You know who else is looking at the game notes? Uh, it's it always there's and still to this day he used to sign off every game. That one's driven to left field. Ben Intendi will watch it off the wall. He'll play it in, fire it into second from Merrifield. His 1,000th hit. Ohio, it says rounding third, heading for home. And that's the way that Joe Nuxall used to sign off. That's <laughs> crazy. The 0-1. 0-2 on Bobby with a four-run lead. 1-2. Swing and a miss. Got him upstairs. You're picking up tendencies, picking up holes, being able to exploit them. Hole, but you know, the more you look, and we showed it on the screen last night at his resume, pretty impressive stuff. I mean, he's 32 years old, 11 seasons, seven time All Star, five times. Yeah, I don't think he believes in load management. One and two. That we talk about a hundred now, like it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. High fly ball, deep left center, going back is Hicks. He's there to make the catch. Tagging is Lopez. He'll score easily. Here's Dozier. He walked in the second. That one's fouled straight back. The 0-1. Oh, and two on Dozier. I uh, just tuned in late. It, it, well, I'm sorry, you missed a judge home run. You can't tune in late anymore. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Great last strain, a little less severe than one he suffered earlier in his career. Aaron Boone said he's made some significant progress after being shut today. Michael, still no timeline for a return for Luis Severino, but the fact that he's picking up a ball again, well. The year, that'd be a great late season acquisition. You know, the way the, uh, your team has to be set for two months. So guys coming back from injuries after that August 2nd date, that's a big boost for a team. Spirits. Pasquantino pops it up, right side. LeMahieu battling the sun. Injury. Is he going to come back and be the type of pitcher that he was? And if he is, then, you know. Now, Brian Cashman really plays his cards close to the vest. I mean, the strong image was that the Yankees did want Castillo, that he was number one on their list, and that he made a representative offer. And if the Yankees did miss out on him, he's going to pitch in the series. Coming up Monday, Tuesday. Everybody's talking about, oh, the Yankees are in on Castillo. The Yankees are in on this guy. As Taylor lines a base hit back up the middle. I always think that Brian Cashman is working behind the scenes. And some and I will be here as well at the stadium. So anything breaks, uh, tune to yes, and we will have it. And then, of course, we'll have And I think it's always a kind of a shot in the arm to the teams that are, that are competing. And now with the, you know, they just seem to fit perfectly. And it has got us over the hump uh, a couple of years. And, you know, it can help. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I hate. So, I mean, if Seattle sat. And Melendez works a walk. So I'll tell you what, the Yankees are leading. So here's Garcia. And that one is looped into center field. It is a base hit. Taylor rounds third. They're going to wave him home. He'll score easily without a throw. Throw is to third in the third. Benintendi. Good throw. Handle possibly has him at second base. The Mayo goes to second one on the first. It's a dunk. And then Trace Thompson, his brother won the NBA title. He said, well, let me get to it. And he has been very, very hot as well. Brag about what they do. He's he's on all the highlights late, lately. He's all over the place. Playing well. The 0-2. One and two. 80th pitch coming. 
Hit sharply to short. Connor Palafa, the throw. And they just. 22 years old. Made his major league debut on open. And he is the number three prospect. Rodriguez of the Mariners was second. Only do the Royals have a really good player. They have a really good kid in their clubhouse. Be a leader. See, I talked to Bobby with Jr. Prospect coming up. Started at third, went back to short, which he played in the minor leagues. But I was that's a good at bat for me. I saw the ball well from him. Uh, you know, it, it, this is the way things go. Pretty much the same time, same era that I played. Swing and a miss. Bobby. Salvador Perez takes a strike from Cortez. Two. Fly ball right field. Carpenter is there. And a good one, two, three inning for.